What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. Um, five for you is T Higgins, and I'm, uh, I think I'm a, I'm a scotch higher on him than you, but I'll let you have the floor on Higgins. What's up with Higgins? I mean, it really, I mean, I had him four. He was four, and then, like, after everything, the dust settled, I, I moved Jefferson up. But, I mean, T is a dog. T is a beast. And what I like most about him is coming into 2019, everybody wrote him off as, like, the number two. It was like Justin Ross, Justin Ross, Justin Ross. He's the alpha. And then T went out there and just completely dominated in 2019. And if you look at the national championship game, when he left the field, Clemson could do nothing. No. Like it just, bingo. It, it just it shut down. I mean they they looked inept. They they had no clue what to do when T what T wasn't on the field. He got like a seventy yard touchdown pass called back off of some BS. Mm -hmm. I just think he's listen. I, even myself, after the combine, there was a little bit of overreaction from me. Oh my god, T didn't run. He didn't test. Like I got to move him down. Wasn't, his excuse wasn't great. You know, I'm fine with him not running and not yes. not not testing, but to be like oh, I didn't have enough time. That was a little yes. bit. I got to admit. I mean, T's my boy. I'm, a, I'm a, I went to Clemson, so I'm like I have a hard time with all these Clemson prospects because I just want to be like number one, number one, like take them <laughs> all. But like I have to like it's it's tough for me. I have to take a step back. But I'm with you, man. Like I didn't I didn't necessarily like the reasoning, but I don't mind at all the fact that he didn't do the drills. You know. And I think the reasoning really got me, you know, talking about he didn't have enough time and kind of, it just sounded weak to me. It sounded weak, like he was afraid of competition. So, but when you turn on the tape, there's nothing weak about this dude's game. And a lot of people talk about him not being able to create separation for, or run routes. And I've, I, I can go on a huge tangent about this whole route running thing, because I too think that is very overrated coming out of college. I'm Look at DK not, the, one, the ones who can do it, Love it. The sure. Jerry Judy's of the world, the technicians. But I can assure you, I can name Hall of Fame wide receivers who didn't run the full damn route tree. Okay, it doesn't. You, Go look at Calvin Johnson's name, route tree. Go look at Calvin Johnson's route tree. Andrew Hawkins from the Cincinnati Bengals ran some of the crispest, cleanest routes you will ever see. And he did absolutely nothing in the NFL and nothing for your fantasy team. But uh, there's nothing to dislike about T's game. Like, okay, he doesn't have – He's not a blazer, right? He's not going to catch a tunnel screen and take it 90 to the crib. But he's physical at the point of the catch. I think his ball tracking ability outside of C.D. Lamb, maybe a Brian Edwards, they're the top in this class. When the ball is in the air, he's going to go get it. He's physical as hell at the catch point. And he is a very good route runner. Like, I've seen him run breaking in routes. I've seen him, his out routes, you know, those five-yard those five yard out routes where you've mm -hmm. got to create separation. And it just looks different, man. Everybody, it, 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 he's not going to look like Jalen Rager because he's not 5'11", 190, 6'4", 215 pounds. Right. But I, I really like everything about T's game. And I think his size and the way that he wins will translate to the NFL. Like, I'm not concerned about him right. translating it to the next level. I like him a lot. Yeah, I I slightly edged. I had I was in love with Mims. I had Mims up there at, at five, and I'm with you. I, I slipped him back once I started really honing back in on, on Higgins a little bit because I I kind of agree, man. Like I I think one when Mims has the ball in his hands, I just don't see like he's not quite like as like a dog when Higgins has the ball. And like I mean, just I know it's just, it's one play, but go back to the national championship. They ran a reverse to T Higgins, and he just he outruns somebody to the corner sheds off a blocker and then runs over somebody going into the end zone. Like I understand it's a national championship and it's out, but LSU, that's a bunch of top notch athletes on the other end of that. And, you know, you can say what you want about Clemson, not playing whoever in the ACC or whatever, but I mean, he's shown up in, in a lot of big games. He played pretty well against Arnett and, and, uh, Akuda in the game before. Yep. And he played pretty well against some really good D backs in that, uh, National championship game, and like you said, I mean, that Clemson offense went – was a shell of itself when he left that field. Um, and he made – obviously, you're playing with one of the best prospects that the that we've seen in a long time at your quarterback position. But a lot of – like, there's a lot of times where he makes him look good. 
Like yep. he's he adjusts to the ball in the air, like you're saying, and plucks it out of the air because it was a little behind him and it was a little off target. Didn't drop a ton of balls. He had a couple of drops there, but I think nine games in, he hadn't dropped a single ball. I think he's got pretty strong hands. I think his route running is good. Um, I like his after the catch. He's not a burner, like you said. I think he can get separation. And I think a lot of these big guys at the next level, like it's not you're not going to get a lot of separation on the next level regardless. So if they can get a half a step and then their size is the separation. Um, did, did anybody care about Des Bryant not getting separation when he was dropping 13 touchdowns a season? Right. I mean, it just – there's different ways to win. There's so many ways to win at the next level. And if you're expecting Stephon Diggs' level of route running precision out of T. Higgins, then you're fooling yourself from the jump. And mm-hmm. I, I say it's not just one play. I mean, that play in the national championship game – he had every – there are a lot of wide receivers who would have just tiptoed out of bed. He was right there on the sideline, right? What 6'4", 215 out. receiver yeah. runs a reverse like that? I'm about to put my shoulder down, run you over, and then go into the end zone. Like, that just shows his mentality, man. I just right. – I'm a big fan of his game. I think he's going to be a big-time value in, in, in rookie drafts because there are people who are soured on him. But Well, he's just I'm Mike Williams. He's just Mike Williams 2.0. He's better than Mike Williams. I, I had this so conversation with my boy. I think and so, too. I'm not, I'm not shading Mike, big Mike Dub at all, but I think he's better, better wide receiver prospect than Mike Williams. Yeah, I think he's quicker than Mike. Yeah, he doesn't have that elite long speed, but I think he's fast enough. I mean, yeah. and a lot of the things I like about Mims, he does really well too. Like he beats press coverage and he's physical and makes contested catches. And like uh, sometimes he needs to bring that ball. He needs to tuck that ball in after the catch. There's just a fair amount of like he catches it and keeps it held out there in front of him and gets swatted a little bit. But I mean, I think I think uh, he he's a hard working dude. He's he's humble. He's He's gonna come in and work real hard, so I'm 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 loving some T Higgins. I'm trying to get him where I can. I, I agree. I think he'll be a little bit of a value, but we'll see what happens on this week with the draft. So never know. Yeah, so I got I got Rager at five. That's where I'm I'm putting Rager, but I'm really in, like Jay Wayne said. I'm really interested to see what's going on. Jay Wayne, who you got at five? Uh, I got Higgins there at five. Okay, I got Higgins at four. So that's the next guy. So let's carry you into that. <laughs> <laughs>